welcome to Indigo's room tour. Um, if you hear in the background, that's because she's back here. Um, so she's five months old now, and this is pretty much where her nursery has ended up. We didn't really want to record this until we knew where everything went, we knew where everything was. Um, in this recording, she has all of her zero to three month clothing out, but that is not what she even wears anymore. She's gone to three to six now. So things are a tiny different. Um, this is the overall room pan, all the little pieces and parts. So we're going to start over here at this um, dresser. <clears throat> In the first drawer we've got all of her burp rags and some swaddles back behind there. Um, and then washcloths back behind that. A bunch of washcloths. And then receiving blankets here. And then all of her like hygiene essentials, uh, a scale, some bubble bath, the grime water, brushes, safety kits, everything you could possibly think of, all right there. <clears throat> Next drawer, we've got all of her pants. And again, this was zero to three month. Um, we we're in three to six month and things look a lot different in there now. Um, but for this, we had all of her snap PJs, all of her zip PJs, and then her um, pants and leggings. And then the drawer underneath that is exactly the same, but all of the older clothes, so the three to six month clothes that she doesn't fit in. Um, and then in here, we have all of her diapers. Um, she also has transitioned size of diapers, so she's not using this anymore. But we had all of her size ones, um, some wipe refills, uh, an extra wipe bucket, some changing cover pads, and then wipes. <clears throat> um, I really love the water wipes, but we had some left over from the baby shower, so that's what we have. This is all the size two. This is actually the drawer we pull from now. Um, it's a whole bunch of Hello Bello and I think Huggies. Um, and then down here at this bottom, bottom one is our kind of like baby junk drawer. So we've got extra bottles, we've got little bath toys, um, nursing covers. That up there is a boppy cover. <clears throat> and then some sheets for her crib and some little hip slings. And I think that I've actually decluttered this and gotten rid of quite a few things in there. Then up above it is all of her books. We have about 10 million books. There are more stacks of books all over our house. This is all of her teething toys and um, little like mitten kind of toys. <clears throat> she has an amber necklace back there, but we don't really use amber necklaces, so it's just kind of there. And then all of her extra pacifiers at the bottom, but she used bibs, um, so we don't use those. We've got a Manhattan rattle, this little ball, which is her absolute favorite. She's actually currently playing with it. Um, we've got wipes, her spatula, and then this little rubber changing pad from Amazon. We throw her dirty clothes over here, and then we just have a plain trash can. We take it out, like, literally every day, so we don't really need, like, a diaper genie or anything. Uh, this trash can works just fine for us. So, moving on, <clears throat> this is our Bobby. And I got this boppy cover on Etsy, and it is so soft. It's got Mickey on the back and rainbows on the front. And it's from a brand called, I think, Barefaced Notions. Barefaced, Barefaced Notions, yeah. So cute. Definitely recommend them. They also have blankets and burp rags and, like, sheets and just, like, anything that you could want. Um, this is our chair. It was from Amazon. It was less than $200. I really didn't want one. Zach convinced me to get one. And then we have this ottoman from Walmart. And it's like a pink velvety ottoman kind of thing. And we fill it with all of her blankets. So we have like the bigger kind of like play mat type blankets in here. Um, we also have a couple of like little handmade quilts and stuff like that for her in there. Um, <coughs> But yeah, so looking down below that, we have her rug, and this is from Bye Bye Baby. Um, it's like a vintage look, but it's just pink and orange, which is kind of like the theme of her room. 
This is the side table. It's from Walmart. I've had it forever. We have her outlet sock here. And I love the outlet sock. She um, had to wear it for a while. And then uh, her Polaroid book, which is full of all sorts of little Polaroids. <clears throat> Underneath there, we have all of her more books. Um, these are just kind of like bigger books that didn't really go. Um, and then we have this rainbow hanging above that that I made uh, not too long ago. It looks kind of small in this frame, but it's actually huge. So <laughs> um, that's the only like wall decoration right there. This is her crib. It's from Bye Bye Baby as well. Um, and it's just like metal gold. Uh, then we have this dream catcher up top that I made years ago. These sheets have little tangerines and they're from uh, Amazon. Um, the sheep is from my cousin from our baby shower. And this blanket was handmade. I cannot for the life of me remember who made it, but it is the prettiest blanket I've ever seen in my entire life. It is so soft, so plush, so pretty. Then we have these uh, curtains, and they're from Amazon, but they're kind of a knockoff of some Urban Outfitter ones that I saw and I loved. Um, they're like velvet, and obviously they block out like pretty well. Um, but yeah, they're just beautiful. They're like this like dirt, dark burnt orange. Love them. Uh, then we have a play gym, also from Amazon. Um, it's just a wooden play gym with these little wooden toys that I got separately. Um, and then this play mat is from, I think, Marshalls. Uh, you can usually find them at Marshalls or Ross or TJ Maxx. This is our closet, kind of an overview. Um, so we've got a bath here, and we usually actually keep this bath in the bathroom now. A painting that did not make the display cut. Didn't love him. And then moving up, we've got all of her clothes. So um, we have sleep sacks right here. And then, like, the snow bear suits. And then sweatshirts. She doesn't have any coats yet. And then jumpsuits and overall kind of situations. <clears throat> and then we have t-shirts, long sleeves, uh, regular shirts. And then this is everything that's too big for her, but those have actually moved over now and they fit her now. We've got this random basket of things. We have... Um, blankets, a car seat cover, outlet box, some little handprint things. This is the sling that we weigh her in. She doesn't fit in it anymore, I don't think, but it's there. We have an extra backpack right there. That's actually Zach's diaper bag. And then all of our diapers from our baby shower. That's a box of clothes that are way too big. And then I've got these paintings that I painted while I was pregnant with her. Um, and then this little abacus rainbow guy, <laughs> and then a little baby stacker, and then a little ballerina, which she is obsessed with chewing on the feet of that thing. And then Zach got me this When Indy Grows Up book for Christmas. And then that's our Polaroid camera. That camera's actually broken now, and we have a pink one. Uh, this basket is all of her bows, hats, bonnets, um, anything of that sort. Um, sun hats, worm hats, everything. She has a lot of them. Um, and then we have a little sun, uh, not sunflower, uh, watering can toy and bibs. This also has all of her feeding stuff in it now too. And then this is a little keepsake box. This is for her socks and shoes and tights which she doesn't really wear a whole lot of, especially now that it's summer. And then this is another little keepsake box with like photos and stuff in it. So uh, over on this wall by the door, we've got this little rack from Amazon and this little handmade rainbow from Knots and Sonder on Etsy. I love that thing. It was kind of like the premise of everything. And then this is the swaddle that started it all. So <laughs> I love this swaddle so much. Um, I think I got it for Bye Bye Baby, and it's just beautiful. Uh, this little wooden camera from Amazon, and then a neutral bow that just kind of went with the room I hung up. So yeah, this is again another little overview. Our theme is really just that pink and orange kind of neutral rainbow, boho kind of look. I tried to keep it pretty minimal. 
Um, I didn't really want like a lot of clutter in her room, especially since she doesn't really like need to be getting into things. Um, I'm sure that will change a lot, but yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.